welcome to Soho for today's video and uh, today's video is uh, an answer to a number file all triangles are equilateral. In advance I'm sorry for my voice I got a bad cold. So in the number 5's video they are proving that all triangles are equilateral. Of course the, the proof is flawed. I reviewed lots of videos about this problem and uh, lots of people say the right thing which is uh, that C star and B star cannot be uh, all together outside of the triangle, but few people actually proved uh, that this is impossible. So here's the um, the original drawing, which is uh, this one is accurate. Uh, this is actually a X, which is actually the angle bisector. So we have X with the intersection of those two lines. And because X is on the perpendicular bisector, we know that uh, BX and CX have the same length. So to make my proof, I'm going to use a reflection along this axis, along AX. So I'm going to use this uh, symmetry and make the symmetrical point of, um, of B, which, which I'm going to call B prime, which is right here. And uh, we have so B prime, and also we have um, the symmetrical point of C, which I'm going to call C prime, right here. So one important fact is that because this triangle is a scaling triangle, we can assume that AB is shorter than AC. If it's the opposite, well, you just rename the points, and we get to the same situation. So what happens is that since AX is the perpendicular is the angle bisector, B prime and C prime are actually on the side of this angle. This is one of the property of the uh, perpendicular the angle bisector. Sorry. So B prime and C prime are, are on those two lines AC and AB, but also because AB is shorter than AC, AB prime being the same length as AB, we get that B prime is in between A and C. And on the other side, because AC is longer than AB, B should be on AC prime and not the opposite. Now for the next step of our proof, well, there's uh, nothing not much to say that um, since uh, BX is the symmetrical uh, segment of uh, B prime X, those two segment lines have the thing, same length, and the same is true also for CX and C prime X. So we get this situation. Now, what are we going to do? Well, we have um, CX B prime and B x c prime that are uh, isosceles triangles so since those two triangles are isosceles we can uh, draw the angle bisectors of x on those two triangles and those two uh, angle bisector are both of them perpendicular to ac and ab that proves something very important first that those intersection where well, this angle this right angle here and there are one is on ac and the other one, because C prime is outside of AB, the other one is all has to, has to be outside of AB. But those two points, what are they? They are actually C star and B star. So C star and B star cannot be at the same time on the same side of the, the line BC. And if C star is on the triangle, then B star should be outside of the triangle. And you might wonder, what if the triangle is an isosceles triangle? Well, it's very easy to show this. We're going to show you this. I'm going to make the triangle an isosceles triangle. And what happens is that all those three points, which are B, B prime, C star and C, are now only one. And there's no way whatsoever that um, sorry for that. There's no way whatsoever that uh, C star and uh, B star can be uh, either both at the same time inside or either outside of the triangle. 
So the last step of the proof is saying that since a b uh, c star and c and a b star and uh, and b are not in the same order, so it is true that to say that a b is a b star minus b b star. But if you check the other side, you have a c which is not equal to a c star minus c c star. Actually, a C star is equal to AC minus CC star. So the equations that are given in number five are wrong. That's it, that's my, uh, my proof that uh, the number five's position is impossible. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time for next video. Bye bye.